um, uh, tactical nuclear weapons uh, were very popular, very popular in the early in the early fifties. Robert Oppenheimer was uh, a strong advocate of tactical tactical nuclear weapons, and uh, he wanted uh, Eisenhower to uh, buy into this uh, Project Vista that he had. And uh, Eisenhower would not uh, would not uh, buy into the uh, the Project Vista uh, uh, program uh, that that deeply disappointed uh, Oppenheimer. Uh, but when you're talking about the the tactical nuclear weapons in the 50s and in the and in the early 60s, you're talking about. Uh, Davy Crockett's, which are rather small and are used at the at the field level, uh, and then you've got um, the uh, Honest Johns, uh, and on the Russian side you have uh, other uh, tactical nuclear weapons that are uh, launched ballistically, uh, and it, it, it's it's kind of ironic when I was reading the about the Russian tactical nuclear weapons, uh, their free rockets over ground, you're talking about, you know, warheads with uh, uh, anywhere between one kiloton to uh, 10 kilotons. Some are even smaller than than one kiloton. The Davy, the Davy uh, Crockett is probably about uh, half a kiloton. Uh, but when you're talking uh, keep in mind when you're talking about a 10 kiloton or a 15 kiloton or an 18 kiloton tactical nuclear weapon, which are relatively small, you're talking about the same size of of a weapon that uh, the United States dropped on uh, Hiroshima, uh, a fat man and little boy, and oh. that killed that killed. Uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of people and had such a lasting effect. And, 